All right, so this is going to be a Pisces Sun, Pisces Moon, and as well Pisces Rising. Uh, weekly general tarot reading June 1st to uh, June 7th, 2020. And uh, in case any of you guys is interested in a, a personal reading, you can check out the description down below, and there you're going to find a link to my website. Uh, from which you can purchase such and as well if you're interested in to start in, into starting to uh, read tarot cards and um, You want to learn from me uh, My beginners tarot classes are starting at the 21st of June. So to sign up for them. You got to go into my uh, Tarot classes tarot section uh, section of my website and just purchase it from there so that being said, moving to the Pisces reading straight away. Now, the first card that Pisces are going to have is the Fool, which marks the topic and the theme of their week, followed by the energies, which are uh, marked by the Moon card. That, that's very interesting. So moving next, we do have the challenges and those, while well, those challenges are going to be the uh, Six of Swords, Followed by the gifts and the blessings that you get to enjoy throughout the week. That is going to be the Ace of Swords. Afterwards, we do have the impression that uh, you are leaving into the people around. That is going to be the um, Page of Cups. And the last one, which is the Guidance here, that is to be the Knight of Pentacles. Wow. All right. So, uh, Pisces, it does look like that... Um, this week is uh, going to be quite of a, um, how can I say, interesting to say the very least. So what happens here, uh, let's start with, the, with uh, the energies and the situation itself. So we do have a pretty interesting, um, not coalition, but collision, if you will. From the moon and the fool, so those energies uh, that are to surround you throughout the week, they're going to um, do a couple of stuff into your environment. So the first thing that they're going to do is start aligning the circumstances for you. So uh, make no mistake here in terms of a, a, a baffled question. Am I doing the right thing or am I on the right track uh, here throughout uh, this week, June 1st to June 7th? Even if you aren't at the start of the week, you are pretty much going to be by the end of the week itself. Now, the thing it is that because uh, the circumstances are just arranging right now and they are, to say the least, obscure at that particular point, you will have that sense of unpredictability that you can't predict what is going to be the outcome, you know, of your current relationship endeavor, of your current career if you will in generally you are to be um, left in the void or i don't know how to say it um, in english okay it is like you you are not going to know what is going on around that that is going to be the whole problem here and um, it's it's very likely that you may start feeling very insecure throughout the week although the energies are very positive because they are aligning the circumstances in a way that you are going to end up at the end of the day where you are supposed to end up. So you're going to be on the right track. But because the circumstances, once again, are obscured to you and you don't know what is going on, that's why you're going to feel yourself um, quite insecure in terms of career position, in terms of your relationship. And that will predispose you to start believing into the doom and gloom, to start fantasizing, for example, how, say, your partner is going to leave you, which is not going to happen, uh, how, you know, you're going to be laid off from work, which, again, is very, very unlikely to happen as well. And uh, that will provoke the situation itself, which is the full card. And uh, you are going to immediately start thinking of if, you are laid off from work and if you are duped in term of relationship what you're going to do after and uh, the solution to that particular question it will be a win-win situation for you okay so you're going to pretty much almost instantly with the snap of your fingers you know you are going to find an, an exit or exodus if you will to uh, in case you know your situation third turns sour and that itself is going to calm your nerves and calm your mind but 
What is going to happen as well here is that through the alignment of the circumstances, although you are not knowing what is going on around or why the things are happening that way, those circumstances are going to clear uh, a new picture in front of you, okay? I, uh, like a new direction that you can take on. And that resides as well uh, into the challenge uh, themselves uh, here. I, one more thing before we go to the challenge. So whenever that new picture starts opening for you, okay, so that could be about a new determination. It could be about a new goal, a, a new concept, or, you know, a, a new point of breakthrough. You need to face them open, sincere, and innocent. What I mean is that you shouldn't bring anything from your past to move with you onward in the future, especially if it is about a poignant experience that you are about to bring. Say, you know, you start new relationship, bring a poignant experience from last relationship into your new one. So as we said, you are going to feel yourself very insecure, although the week is gonna call for a action. And that will be the challenge itself. So you're gonna sit into, um, I would say, a threshold right now, okay, throughout the week of uh, June 1st to June 7th. And everything forward, it will seem unknown in a sense of that whatever, whatever you anticipate to do, the outcome is going to be, at least in your mind, anybody's guess. And that is a fear that it is completely futile uh, and, uh, and without any soil under its feet whatsoever. And uh, the Six of uh, Swords here points that any action is going to improve your circumstances to a certain extent. I'm meaning that some actions are going to slightly improve your circumstances, some actions are going to dramatically improve your circumstances. It's just the point with the Six of Swords, it is that you have to overcome the fear of not doing anything Okay, and as the circumstances align, although you don't know why they are aligning that way, you got to take on the initiative and you got to take on the opportunity. Moving next, we do have the gifts and the blessings, and that is going to be the gift and the blessing of the Ace of Swords. And uh, I hope that I convey here the information in a most, um, how can I say, it, elaborative way because it may contradict everything I said by now. So what the Ace of Swords gifts you with it is the mental awareness, spiritual strength, and the ability to recognize a situation for what the situation is. But the situation, not the circumstances which created the situation. So for you, the circumstances, for example, why somebody likes you, it, it, it will be obscured for you, all right? You don't know why that person wants to be with you, why it's calling you all the time. All that you know is that they are giving you attention. And through the gift of the Ace of Swords, you are going to place the accurate diagnosis that the, that person is into you. Why? You, don't, you should not concern yourself right now with it. But just go by, you know, with your uh, assessment over the situation itself. And uh, this is pre pretty much uh, the gift that you are going to be able to uh, recognize the results of those circumstances for what the results truly are and hopefully make a full advantage of the way that the situation resolves in front of yourself. Um, and one last gift and uh, blessing, as we said about fears, uh, the um, Ace of Swords in many cases uh, gifts people with courage in a sense of that a uh, person recognizes that at some time, at some point, you know, progress needs to be done. And so anytime is, it's a good time. So why should not be right now, you know, when you do have the opportunity through the alignment of the circumstances. So moving next, we do have uh, the uh, impression that you're going to leave into the people around. We do have the um, page of cups. So people are going to see you ready for the change coming. Okay, because um, uh, here through those, uh, I don't want to repeat myself, but say those circumstances are changing your environment. They are offering you a new situations and people are going to see you, you know, ready for those situations. And also um, with a big enough mental awareness to make the necessary uh, repositioning of yourself, meaning to make the necessary uh, 
personal self-assessment, if you will, or assessment to your current positions so you can identify which positions are not serving you any favor and reposition yourself accordingly to the change that is looming on the horizon. But as well, people are going to see you very emotionally attached to the things you want to develop and to the things that you already have as well. And um, I know that people are more concerned for love than anything else. So that page here would say that somebody, it will have the impression or few people or even many people may have the impression that you are ready, ready I'm sorry, to um, receive and give love once again. And so the last card is the guidance here, which pretty much is going to help you to cope better with all the circumstances that are to be obscured. OK, so the first thing that you got to do when we do have the Knight of Pentacles in the guidance is to identify what you do want to be the result of your current drive in term of life. OK, and after that, when you identify what you want to be the result, for example, of your career progress or for your relationship pro progress, you got to establish a plan how to do it and that plan needs to be very simple i mean if the plan cannot be understand by say a child that is in, in the third grade then the plan sucks unfortunately so it has to be a, a very simplistic plan of how to move forward step by step and then you just follow those steps and even though the circumstances of your situations may be obscured that will um, these very simple but very effective steps that you're going to do are going to diminish the randomness around you know to its maximum extent and one last thing with the uh, knights of pentacles it will, whatever you do you should support it with the very, very strong determinations. In other words, you should show that what you are about to do, you really, really mean it. So that being said, uh, Pisces, this was your weekly general tarot reading, June 1st to June 7th, 2020. Hopefully you enjoyed it and you liked it. And uh, once again, if you're interested in a private reading, uh, you can check out the description down below and there you're going to find a link to my website from where you can purchase such and as well um, if you want to start reading tarot cards and you want to learn to read from me uh, my tarot classes the beginner tarot classes are starting at 21st of June to sign up for them you gotta go to my uh, website once again tarot classes section and purchase the class from there hopefully we're gonna see each other around and until then bye